Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about how to do the overhead bicep curl with a V-bar. Now I recommend this bar uh, for most people because it puts your hands in a nice um, comfortable position. But the first thing you want to adjust is the cable lever, like kind of like where you're going to be pulling from or the arm, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm just showing you that you can move it up and down. You push the the button in and then you move it up and down. I recommend you put it at the highest setting. Now the weight, um, I don't recommend you go heavy on this exercise, especially because most people don't do this exercise, period. So I would recommend that you keep this, you know, I'm just showing you that you can go lower, but you know, keep it at around, I would say a two or a three on this specific machine, this is the hoist machine. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're doing it with perfect form, especially when you start. So here's the V-bar. Uh, overhead uh, bicep curl so notice that my elbows are nice and tucked and my elbows are by my ears my chin is tucked also it's a little bit more comfortable so it doesn't hit the back of your head also I, I don't want to hit my bun you know can't mess up the bun so I had to tilt forward a bit with my head but basically as you do the exercise you want to make sure that you're coming to a, an extension like for the most part a full extension and then you want to be pulling it behind your head if your elbows drop, you're going to start hitting your head or you hit yourself in the forehead and you obviously don't want to do that because that hurts. Now, another thing that I'm doing here that you'll probably notice is that I'm using the cable in a nice smooth control motion. So I'm not like jerking the weight back. I'm not uh, using my torso to lean forward and back to kind of do more repetitions with more weight. I recommend you keep your torso, elbow position, and shoulder position fixed. Like nothing else should move. Now from this point, for the most part, just your uh, forearm should be moving. And also, like I said before, keep the weights relatively low, especially when you start, because this is a hard exercise. And if you have shoulder mobility problems, you probably are even going to struggle to get into this position in the first place. But if not, then you I think you're going to greatly benefit from this exercise. And the reason is, is because your bicep is in its shortest position when you're in shoulder flexion. So notice that my biceps are by my ears. That pretty much for the most part puts you in shoulder flexion. Now here's some common mistakes that you should avoid. Like I said, dropping your elbows and leaning back, you're going to hit yourself in the forehead and knock yourself out. Another thing you don't want to do is half reps. This doesn't benefit you at all, whether it's at the top or the bottom. Just don't do that. Do full reps and don't lean back. Sit straight up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. And if you want to take it a step further and work with us or support the channel further, there are a few ways you could do that down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.